So I'm just gonna rehydrate it. But like, this was all just done in the oven. What's going on everyone? Today I'm bringing you a new style of video. I'm always looking at how I can spend less money on my adventures. I noticed that food was always a big expense. Without having a dedicated food dehydrator, I wanted to experiment with the appliances I had to see if I could make a good and safe dehydrated food product. To my surprise, I was able to use my oven effectively in creating dehydrated pasta. With a background in culinary, I created this very easy and cheap pasta recipe that can be altered however you like to suit your needs. However, as long as you use the key spices and ingredients, you should be good to go. I started off by slicing and dicing all of my vegetables. You want your veggies small so the end product isn't as bulky. Mushrooms shrink a lot once they are cooked, so I just gave them a quick slice. This is the safest and most effective way i found to dice your carrots. Add just a little bit of oil and start off cooking your onions and carrots so that you can get a good base for your ground beef. Once you've sauteed them for a couple of minutes, it's time to add your ground beef. Okay, after you've cooked that down for a few minutes, you can see the onion is slowly starting to turn translucent. That's good. A little bit of cumin, maybe like half a teaspoon of cumin. We're going to add a lot of chili powder. I love chili powder in my pasta sauce. So that's probably about a tablespoon and a half garlic in there. I use about a teaspoon of garlic powder. A lot of pepper, cracked pepper. Whatever kind of pepper you want. I always add salt and pepper at the end to taste. I'm just letting it come up to a really high heat so that it kind of cooks down all of the fat and I can kind of cook it all away. So mix it up, looks nice. I also add Italian seasoning. Italiano! If you have basil, I would suggest using basil as well. Put the rest of the veg in. Uh, I have fresh basil. I just don't want to go outside and get it, to be honest with you. So now that that's all in, now we can add the garlic. You don't want to add the garlic too early because garlic will burn very quickly. Especially if it has direct heat, you kind of want indirect heat on it depending on what kind of dish you're making. Some people want their uh, garlic to be a little bit more on the cooked side. Okay, so you basically got a chili here. All you add is a little bit of tomato paste and beef broth and you got a nice chili. And then uh, some beans at the end. This is how I do it. So I'm gonna let that sit, put it down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna add the sauce. While that's going, I have this pot going. To this pot, I'm just gonna add spaghetti. So here we go. It's almost at a rolling boil. Oh. Added everything to our sauce. We just want this to simmer. So you can see I got it on the lowest it could be. I'm gonna let that sit. We're gonna put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. Keep it on very low, as low as it can go, and we'll come back to that in about an hour. But that's always how I make my pasta. I love this kind of pasta, it's amazing, and that's what we're gonna do for this video. Now, you can use a lot of different things. I just so happen to have this little grape type thing, and it worked the first time I did it, so I'm just gonna do it again. I found in the past that it's best to just spray a little bit of oil on top of here, especially for the noodles, or else the noodles will stick to this. So we'll put this right on, just like this. It's better also if you have more than one. This is the only uh, sheet I have. So this is all I'm gonna do. Now for the sauce, you're just gonna put it on here quite lightly. So you can put it all in like this. You can also um, just mix the pasta in with the sauce and do it one big thing. For your first time, I would suggest to do it like this because it's more interesting. You'll be able to see the beginning and like You'll be, you'll be able to see the start and finish, like how much this turns into this. So it's kind of fun. But that's pretty good. 
So we're going to stick that in the oven and start the dehydration process. Got it in there all nicey nice. And now we're going to do bake and turn it way down. My oven goes to 170. 170. Okay. So we're going to do that and we are going to wait until it is done. This is what the dehydrated pasta will look like after you've cooked it at 170 degrees for between 6 to 8 hours. Cooking times may vary depending on how much product you put in and what temperature you use. As you can see, there is no moisture in this pasta, and to verify that this is a legitimate way of dehydrating your food, I kept this batch in a cupboard for a week and came back to it and it was still just as you see it. Here is the process of rehydrating your dehydrated pasta. Just about to come to a boil, so now I'm going to add everything in. So I did have it on max, max heat, uh, but now that it's uh, got a nice rolling boil, I'm gonna cover it. Now I'm gonna set it on low and let it sit for about uh, five minutes and then check it again. So this is what it looks like after a few minutes with the lid on. I just took it off. It looks like everything's rehydrated pretty good. So now that the lid's off, it's gonna help all this liquid kind of evaporate and, uh, and look a little bit more like pasta and less like a soupy stew. Which, if you're in the back country, it actually would be kind of perfect to eat it like that. But I'm at home, so I might as well try and make it perfect. Rehydrating this dehydrated pasta took a maximum of 10 minutes. Here's what we got. Boom. There we go. There it is. All nice and rehydrated, steaming hot. It looks and it smells very good. It looks like it worked out pretty well. Mmm, wow. That worked out really well. Wow, this worked so, so good. Can you see it perfectly? Like, this was all just done in the oven. No dehydrator used. Let's see, there's a mushroom here, let's see. Mm. I had funny, this is better than any dehydrated meal I had before. Like, so basic, and I did it myself. Mm. No. If you get one pack of spaghetti noodles, you get that for 88 or 99 cents Canadian, you get one or two cans of spaghetti sauce, 88, 99 cents each, depending on where you are. You get extra lean ground beef, couple bucks a pound depending on where you are and then your odds and ends vegetables onions peppers mushrooms whatever you want to put in carrots celery you're looking at like for ten dollars you're getting the amount of dehydrated food supply then you would spending a hundred dollars or so at like mountain house and you're getting that kind of dehydrated meals this is and it, you know exactly what's going in it i was always thinking about buying a dehydrator but then i was curious i'm like well I have a background in culinary, so I can kind of figure something out. So I used the oven. The oven was, was able to go down to like 175, so I just did that. Yeah, it took all day, but it works. So now I don't have to go out and buy a dehydrator. It was a good experiment, and it worked, so it's definitely a win in my book. Here you go. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to do this for the next trip. Mm. Boom.
I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to comment your favorite dehydrated meal and if you have any suggestions for the next meal for me to dehydrate. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell for updates on all my new content. Thanks again.